Good morning, reefing peoples. This is another in a long line of stories about my constant battle with pH. Chasing pH in a reef tank reminds me of the laws of thermodynamics. You can't win, you can't break even, you can't even get out of the game. It really is a lot of trouble. But here's where I am. With the addition of the little discrubber to this little teeny protein, the skimmer, <clears throat> that's all I can do, 8.1. If I could leave the windows open all day, I can get to 8.2, which if I could get to 8.2, I think I'd be happy. Uh, but I can't leave the windows open all day, especially now that Canada's declared uh, the, the smoke war on us. Those poor bastards, it's terrible up there. But do you have to share it with us? Anyway, I digress. So, here's what a new product I found, which is one of those, it seems too good to be true stories. You know those? You can get your pH up to 8.3, which is what I want, and you can't overdose it. Okay, that's a little hard to believe, but that's what they claim. This is made of, I'm quoting here, contains a sodium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, and potassium salts of a carbonate, bicarbonate, chloride, sulfate, and borate. So it's got a lot of stuff in there. And how you can not overdose it, I'm not sure, but I'm very skeptical. Anyway. Okay, let's test the claims of the sea chem, the marine, the buffer. I've set up a little experiment here. Got a little beaker. I took my pH, the probe, out of my tank. Got a little power head down in there. Uh, I, I followed the directions on the back. It says one level teaspoon per one cup of water. So that's what this is. One level teaspoon per one cu cup of water. This is freshly made to salt water, by, by the way. It's not tank water. And Reef Crystals, uh, freshly made, has a pH, according to my meter, of 7.9. So what we're going to do now is slowly add some of this in and see, see what happens. Now remember, this recipe they give you, uh, one level teaspoon per one cup of water, is for 20 gallons of water. So I'm just going to add a small amount of a time, a milliliter at a time, because I have a, a teeny amount of water. It's like half a gallon. And we're going to see, see what happens, all right? Okay, so I took a small amount out this is so I could get it in my the syringe. Now you can see that it's clear. So, so, so this stuff uh, completely dissolves at the ratio they gave. All right, so I'm gonna just put in one milliliter squirt and the power head should mix that up real fast. Let's see if we get any pH change, although that pH meter, as you know, they're not instantaneous. Not getting anything. Another one. No change, 7.9. Another one. There you go. Boom. Just happened. Went to 8. All right, I'm going to put in the last two. There we go. So that's five milliliters in uh, half a gallon of water. And let's let that, that set for a second. Okay, it's been a little bit less than five minutes. And it went up to 8.1. So went from 7.9 to 8.1 with five milliliters. So let's put another five in there. Just adding one. Oops, don't squirt it all over the place. Just adding one at a time is going to take too, too long. All right, I'm going to pause and we'll see how long this takes. Okay, there you go. It's up to 8.2. So we've added 10 milliliters of the solution and we're up to 8.2 from 7.9. Uh, I'm going to add another five. This time I'm not going to splash it all over hell. And we're going to wait again. Bada bing. 8.3. It did it. Now. Here's the trick. It said, okay, it, you can't overdose uh, to increase your, your the pH. Well, what about your alkalinity? Well, I just did an alkalinity test and it consumed the whole, the syringe. 
and it turned pink. And that means my ALK is 15.7. Oh my God. The brain trust of the reefs is telling us you shouldn't go over 12 for alkalinity or you could burn your corals. So sea chem days. Yes, I achieved 8.3 in this test, but I got an alkalinity of almost 16. So how is this any better than calc? I could do the same thing with calc. Uh, but yes, you can overdose the calc, but you can't have an alkalinity. I'm told, I have no direct knowledge of this. I'm told you can't have an alk this high. It will hurt your corals. So what's the point? Uh, is that more money I just flushed down the toilet? It looks like it. Guess I'll stick with my alk. See you later.